Hello friends from Comedy Pismo. We are here in Sociedade Ipica Paulista and Sociedade Ipica Paulista made this year 100 years. And it's a pleasure for us to have once again the dressage superstar in the world, Jan Brink. He's a friend of Brazilians because he comes here, he comes in Brazil for more than 10 years. Jan, it's always a pleasure to receive you here in Brazil, especially in Ipica Paulista. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure. Thank you. And Jan, tell us about uh, when you begin to ride, your, 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 when you begin your dressage story. I mean, I, I, I was an ice hockey player from the beginning, and uh, most of the guys in Sweden, they play ice hockey, and, and then uh, we were hanging around in the riding school and, uh, because of the girls. And, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we, I start to ride because of that, and uh, I think I was like 14, 15, something like that. And after a while, I really liked it, and uh, after some years, uh, it went really good, so I had to choose the ice hockey or the horses, so... Then it, I, I went in direct to a Christian sport. Well, we say thank you for this, your choice. <laughs> and your story in Brazil is so long because one of your students, your best students, Marie Munters, she comes to Brazil and she stay here for a long, long time and she won so many titles. She is a special people that everybody here is in the club. We miss her so much. Tell us about your story uh, we, uh, with the Brazilians and especially with Marie. No, it was, uh, I mean, uh, I started to go to Brazil because uh, I, I also sell horses, so it was a kind of customer service. I take care about what I'm selling, yeah. and uh, I got a lot of friends here, and more people uh, bought horses from me, and, and more people started to train with me, and uh, I started to work with Harris Cochera, and um, they also want to have a professional rider uh, for the horses because they had quite many horses. So I was bringing Marie. She was working for me for five years, and uh, then she stayed here for five years, and, and uh, it was... Uh, Really, really good, uh, for, for, I think, for the club and for, for Brazil. Yes, because Aras Cachoeira, when uh, bring Mahi to Brazil, uh, leading by you, everybody uh, really, uh, the develop, it really developed the, the dressage here in the club. More people, uh, special women, uh, went to Europe to buy horses, and uh, you're a part of this. Thank you so much. Now the dressage in the club, wow, we have a lot of people making dressage. And the clinic is always full, so thank you so much. Oh, it's really nice, and I think uh, Brazil have a, it's really uh, uh, have a big progress now, and um, we have a Pan American Games coming now, and, and uh, also the Olympics in, in Rio, 2016. So, I think in some years we are going to we have a, Brazil had a team already in in Hong Kong, and uh, I think uh, dressage is is really coming up to a higher level. Yes, we we wish that. And talk us about the Aras Cachoeira new riders. Yeah, uh, it's a really nice uh, family, and uh, also Sergio is is helping uh, there. And I know Sergio from before, Sergio De Fori. So it's a nice team, and uh, they're going to have classes right now in in uh, 20 minutes here. Yeah, they're waiting for you. The and, uh, well, about your story in dressage, so you had a uh, silver medal in the Europeans in 2003, and later in 2005 you were bronze medal, individual and team bronze medal by Sweden. Tell us about, about the Europeans. No, but, uh, I mean, uh, I had uh, two medals before with two other horses in World Championship, uh, 98 and, and uh, in, in Rome with Martini, but this was with Briar, and this was the first... Uh, individual silver medal in in Hickstead in, in outside of London and that was really unexpected you know what I mean yes. people didn't expect uh, me to do that so that was one of the really greatest moments in my life and uh, and later on it went uh, 2005 to the biggest uh, victory in, in Aachen so that's that was really nice Yes, in Aachen it's, it's a special I can imagine for all dressers riders Winning in Aachen, it's a special moment. Aachen is like Wimbledon or uh, American Cup in sailing, and, and uh, it's a really the most difficult competition in the world. And it's like, like it's like Olympics every time. <coughs> All the best riders in the world is there, and the highest prize money in a fantastic atmosphere. You know, 60,000 people looking, and, and a lot of TV. Uh, so that was really, really great. Really great. Congratulations again. And uh, about, well, you, you were in a lot of World Cup finals. 
A lot of. So tell us about the feeling. So you were in a lot of countries uh, with your host, with mm. Briar. Yeah, I mean, I think Briar, no, I know that Briar is uh, the most successful horse in the world in time of how long career he had. He was in, in uh, eight World Cup finals, three Olympics, and we have sw uh, seven uh, Swedish championships. So the horse was really going uh, 11 years in a row in all championship, and that's really unique. And uh, the last show was uh, the third time he was in Las Vegas for the World Cup final, 2009. And how is your feeling with Briar? Because it, he's so special for everybody. Because every time that Briar when it went in competitions, everybody wants to see Briar. Briar is just as you. He was a superstar. But your relation with Briar, your day to day, and now. Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of uh, journalists, they used to tell me that that's the, your longest relationship in your life so, <laughs> so far. Now I am married, but uh, to be honest, I, I, I got Briar when he was two years old. And uh, I mean, he's, he's turning 20 now, so it's uh, 18 years. 18 years with a success story and beautiful story. Yeah, it's really nice. And now he's just uh, making his hobby. He's just uh, going outside eating grass and, and uh, breathing. <laughs> So he's happy, always happy. And tell us about uh, Two Stop now. Now you have two big stallions. Yeah, we have, uh, I, I mean, I always have nine, ten uh, uh, stallions in, in breeding as well, and they are in the sport at the same time. Uh, this year we have uh, really the, one of the top stallions in the world, Ampere. It's a new stallion. He's uh, the highest uh, scored uh, uh, stallion in, ever in, in Holland. So uh, he's now in, in, in my stable, and, and Briar, in fact, is breeding in Holland oh. this, this summer. And that's a really uh, nice for us, because uh, KVPN in Holland is the uh, most successful uh, breeding uh, uh, countries in the world, and they want one Swedish stallion, so that's really nice. So, and then we have a um, uh, uh, three old uh, Sodano Hall stallion as well. You can see that in the book there. Yeah, uh, beautiful book. Yeah. So Donna Hall is three years old, and, and uh, so it's two new stallions, and uh, yeah, the, the breeding season is just starting now in Europe. Thank you so much, uh, Jan. It's always a pleasure to have you here in São Paulo, in Sociedade Fica Paulista, and we wish you good luck with your stallions, with Katrina and your little and beautiful daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> that was good.